Hey, Bishop Wooden here. I'm down here on the Fairville Street Mall with good people, good common sense North Carolinians standing for common sense legislation. Um, you know, keep in mind, for those who oppose our positions and those who think that it's fine for men to use the uh, ladies room if it's a transgendered person, you got to remember that Bruce Jenner, a.k.a. Caitlyn Jenner, has admitted, according to his own words, that he's sexually attracted to women. So even though he wears a dress and he wears a wig and he calls himself Caitlyn, he still loves to have sex with women. So do we really want legislation or laws to be passed in our great state where men who are confused in their minds will have, will have access to women's restrooms as a result of the state making businesses, private businesses, restaurants, schools, public schools, private schools, churches, and others allow for people who are of one sex to use the bathroom designated for someone of another sex. The answer is no. And, and as you can see, we have all kinds of people here today, whites, blacks, Americans of every stripe, gathered here to say to the governor and to the legislators who voted for House Bill 2, we support you. House Bill 2 is the right thing to do. House Bill 2 is the common sense thing to do. And when you see this on our various outlets, I want you to know that it's time for believers everywhere to stand and allow, to allow our voices to be heard. Everybody's coming out of the closet. We should too. Pastor of the Upper Room Church of God in Christ, here in Raleigh, North Carolina, and we stand to say that we are peace-loving, God-fearing Americans, but we will not be intimidated, we won't be pushed around, and we stand with House Bill 2 because it's the right common sense thing to do. Our governor, how many are glad for Dan Forrest? How many are glad for our legislators who stood to protect our women and children and everyone else? Now, let me say this as I take my seat, time is up, and we have other great speakers to hear from. Never forget, never forget that Bruce Jenner, aka Caitlyn Jenner is still, according to his own words, once he puts on the dress, put on the extensions, put on the lipstick, and put on the pumps, according to his own words, he's still sexually attractive to women. So House Bill 2 protects women. It keeps men out of the ladies' room. And I think that every woman should have the right to peaceably and reasonably expect that the person in the restroom before she entered was a woman. She may not be of the same religion. She may not be of the same race. She may not be of the same height or, or financial status, but she is a woman. And while she's in there, every woman of North Carolina has the right to reasonably expect that the person coming in to the ladies' room is of the same gender. It is a woman. And that's all House Bill 2 is all about. They're trying to lie to us. And let me tell you, I'm not concerned about political correctness. Everybody knows that a transgendered woman is a man. And everybody knows that a transgendered man is a woman. And we have allowed common sense to go out of the window. And in the name of political correctness, they've made us soft and they've made us wimps. Yes. And we think that the only way to display love is to be mushy and to just continue to give ground. Let me tell you something. Love is displayed when God's truth is stood for. When we stand for the truth, stand for the truth, we're doing the most loving thing on earth 
that we can do for everybody. And I want to tell Bruce Springsteen, we were born in the USA and we will protect this great nation. says that this is what happens when men fail to retain God in their knowledge. They get crazy things like what happened in Charlotte. But it is amazing to see the saints of God coming out of the woodwork of every stripe, whites and blacks from across this nation coming together, just declaring something that heretofore has always been considered as common sense. HB2 is the right and the common sense thing to do. And I want to say to those who will see this, preachers, leaders, come on man, come on ladies, let's stand up. We got to go beyond our pulpits, we got to get involved. We cannot practice abandonment theology. The times declare that we preach with the fire of Christ in our pulpits, but that we come to rallies, we come out amongst the people, and we allow our voices to be heard. God bless you.